All right, we're starting the daily vlog with famous Jožek. Famous Jožek is here today to talk about... Talk about... Elections in West New York. Oh. The park is full of Team B representatives. Team T -shirts B... T-shirts with um, team... free food. Oh. <laughs> All right, and no, we're not gonna talk about it today. It's a very boring conversation. Why not? Why, yes, I don't know anything about politics. All I know is like last month, my social media is flooded with ads about Team B and Team A, and they're talking dirty things about each other. Oh, he's a thief. I don't remember what was his name. I don't know their names, I don't pay attention. Uh huh. He's a thief. Oh, and that person is so conservative. Uh, he's voting against women's rights. He wants to ban abortions. And that's what I see on my social media ads. So they spent a lot of money for ads to win this election. And today the park is full of voters, promoters, and all that stuff. I. Ah, but yeah, it's irrelevant. It's I... not interesting. I did a little study about election winning mm -hmm. you know what came came on the top what came on the, the top? best strategy is not to talk about is not to talk about what positive or whatever you're gonna do the right. best strategy is to talk shit against your opponents to uh this right. is how this is how donald trump actually won right. so after his winning they made this kind of study and they came to this conclusion. In politics, it's not important who you are, what you do, and blah, blah, blah. It's more important how you uh, destroy your opponent by throwing a whole bunch of lies. Garbage, pretty much. Garbage, yes. Yeah, so. The art of throwing garbage at your opponent, it's a, it is a, a good tool. Now, when I just said that, I'm realizing what kind of society we live in. You know, it reflects the current state of the society. Because if this was not a good strategy, uh, you know, uh, it's very sad. It's very sad, this realization that this is the best strategy in winning in political elections. But it also shows you the current state of our society. You know, because if this is winning strategy, it means that people that are voting for you are the same bullshitters like you, and they do the same in their life. You know, they don't win by who they are, what they do, but more likely by uh, how to... paint the wrong picture about their opponents if you understand what I mean famous Jožek where are my microphones here people are complaining about the lack of sound quality in the vlog alright I think I have to be out of the frame today. rich people with their helicopters again are like trying to ruin my auditory perception of the birds.
So famous Yoshi, you have to say something today for the, for the viewership of three people. They can just watch me and, um, you know. Watch her. Just watch me and uh, watch be her. happy that you're watching Watch me. her. Watch her. Oh, uh, yeah. What can I add to this conversation? I don't like politics. We should talk about something else. All right. Easily we can switch the topic. Yeah, let's speak about lemon ginger teas. And your new diet. Lemon? And how much better you feel now. Once oh, yeah. You switched to oh, yeah. I switched juices. from hot dogs, pizza, steaks, sandwiches, sandwiches, pork steaks, uh, beef steaks, wagyu steaks for $150 for a little piece like this steak, wagyu, wagyu steak. You know what it is? No, nothing. All right, so I switched from those to smoothies, veggie smoothies. Like only. Uh, plant-based diet for the moment, all right? Plant-based diet. Who are the plants? Cucumbers, vegetables, some tomatoes sometimes. Mostly greens, apples. Yesterday, I can tell you a, a personal story. You know, I'm a vivid and avid smoker, right? I like to smoke those cigarettes. So yesterday I was tempted after a lot of intense work. I was working, working, working. Stress was building up, so my natural response was... And I went to a daily to buy a cigarette. I asked a few people. They didn't give me cigarettes, so I went inside the daily store and I say, hey, do you have cigarettes? They say, of course we do. So I said, uh, yeah, let me buy two apples and two oranges instead of the cigarettes, right? I spent six bucks for these precious apples. And I was eating my apple outside the deli. I saw people with cigarettes. So I said to one of the guys, stop, wait a minute. I will give you $5 if you give me one cigarette. To say, ah, oh, yeah, uh, uh, we, uh, we don't have cigarettes anymore. I say, listen. I'm gonna give you one apple for one cigarette. And the guy say, well, that sounds like a good idea. I run to my car, I took one of the apples, I gave him my last apple and I traded for a cigarette. And it was it's his last nice. cigarette. But I told the guy, you have started the change. <laughs> that was funny that was funny the guy said you're right maybe you affected the guy i did things. affect the guy what miracles right. it's true such a nice tea it's a little spicy now we habit. have another change quick change it's a split decision we decided to quit the coffee and to replace it with the tea. No. For the moment. For today, maybe. I already had the coffee. So that's why I decided to buy tea. Just not to Also, add we decided to like no longer coffee. spend money for buying houses in the most luxurious areas in the mountains, like Switzerland, uh, Vermont, what areas? Pennsylvania, the top. We didn't get to the Rocky Mountains yet. I, I'd like to go to that Colorado Rocky Mountains to get a log house. But we we said no to this as well. We're going the minimalist way, the real the real life way. So we bought a three bedroom apartment in a box. It's portable. Yes, yeah, a portable three bedroom apartment in the back of the car. I just made a video like 10 minutes ago, so go back and watch this prior video, all right? And that's all I'm, I have to say for today. Now, famous Jožek will be talking about some very meaningful stuff. No, that's a lie. Who wants to talk about meaningful life? Or meaningful stuff? 
No oh. one wants to talk about it. People oh. just want to relax, to watch, uh, to watch the river. We have a very beautiful view, by the way. I'm too lazy to stand up and to show it to you. Yeah. I want to listen to the birds. Sit here. Oh, who wants to discuss? Uh, Me? You look a little sick, eh? Okay? No. Grandma went that way. By the way, he was beaten by a... Oh, tick. yeah. Yesterday, watch the video from yesterday. Uh, <laughs> so the head is still here, but just, I don't know, maybe you should just leave it. Huh? Maybe you should just leave it there. I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah. We you have to... You have to remove the head. No, you're gonna damage the head and all the fluids from the head can infect your body. Mm. So we should leave it there till it dies. I don't know, I'll Google it one more time. I'll, I'll research. Google more. it, Google it, Google it. Anyways, yeah. We removed the teeth, but his when, head when stayed in his chest. When we'll be no longer Googling, but chat GTPing. Instead of Google Engine. Yeah, we're gonna be chat GTPing it. Yeah, but it's gonna be biased. And Google is not biased. But you can scroll, you can go to many pages, and Chat GPT it, it will just it will just compose one good search result according to it. Yeah, you 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 you, you can become prompt engineer. That's the new profession. People, if you need money, by the way, go to sign up for the prompt engineering classes in my school. Uh, this job will guarantee you $350 an hour. Now, it's the hottest job, the, the biggest job in demand. By the time we are making this video, we are a little bit late with the information. But if you want to become a prompt engineer for JAT, 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 JAT GTP 4, 5, 6 and 7, you know, you have to know to ask the right question to Chat GTP. Since Chat GTP is a reflection of our world and it knows it all, all the human knowledge compressed in the Chat GTP. Like all the human knowledge of the entire human existence, the last 6,000 years written human history is in one little thing called chat gtp it knows it all yeah but speaking of ai i like how some people call themselves ai artists <laughs> that's so funny as yes. they <laughs> they are they're AI. artists no they're not i this am ai biased. artist of course that's the biggest bs i've ever heard Prompt engineers is like that is your opinion. It's very, very AI, close to the truth. AI is an art form, and they should be AI artists. The artist is AI, but oh. not the person who is giving AI prompts. And AI is not the artist themselves because they are just stealing bits by bits of other, you well, know, well, artists' art. <laughs> put it this way: if you have a good in 10 and if you can describe something very good the ai will do what you have described that's all some people cannot describe a tree some people can describe a tree in a wonderful way and that would be the picture of the mid journey or the whatever ai tool you use to create Oh, sorry. There should be some regulations here about this noise. If your car is no uh, noisier than certain amount of decibels, yeah. then you cannot drive it or something like that, or make something to your motor. There are there are already regulations but like what this. What is that? I can hear this car from from two miles. That is a person who does not care about regulations. That's all. Another one. They just don't care about regulations. Yes, 
I'm just conserving my energy. <laughs> Maybe you should sleep. I think I slept six hours. That's like more than my quota. How long you should sleep? What happens to your watch? It's not. It's not really happening. It's just working. It's perfectly working watch. Work as a Swiss watch. <laughs> My body works as a Swiss watch. That's a nice self. We call it self. Self? Oh. Self suggestions, auto suggestions. Don't underestimate the power of the auto suggestions. Oh. It feels like I'm in the woods, not in the park. Oh. oh! Yes, you are in the woods. We are around wood materials. The trees are so old. Now, I don't, I, 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 I don't understand why don't you have the microphones? Why don't you take them from my car? I'll buy it. They are here. I, we already have like two sets of microphones. No, we should buy those microphones that you sent. I think they're, they're noise cancelling, are they? Oh yeah, they have the latest and the greatest technology of... So we need noise cancelling microphones? Funny, I know if you if you catch that, that was very funny. Casual, fashionable style, like it's like Louis Vuitton. Okay. Ah, it's not important that it's Louis Vuitton. It's important that it's a hundred percent cotton. Right. It's breathing. It's pleasant. It's breathing. It's, it's pleasant. It is a hundred percent cotton. Now, I can tell you the benefits of hundred percent cotton. Okay. Just recently, a friend of mine was in a car accident. Yeah, Alex. Alex, my Russian. Oh, okay. Friend. So what oh, happened sorry. to him? He was in the hospital for a week, and he burned his dick. Oh. The car flipped over. Oh, it was the... some kind of a canister of a gasoline in the back of the car. He was in the back of in the back seat. Oh. The car exploded. The car flipped over, and this gasoline or whatever liquid was. In, inside the car and then this is what he did he got burned the whole body oh poor Alex now after the car stopped hit the tree or something he exited the car 
and he start running towards somewhere and he put down the fire but this is what he said don't ever wear uh, silicone or other synthetic. clothing synthetic clothing because if you happen to be in a car accident and if there is a fire these synthetics they actually melt it on his skin here and here and here and everywhere especially his pants so he said so I went to uh, first thing I went to to cure myself because he said I was not in myself, I was so much adrenaline after this, so he thought that he can survive, you know, like a lot of adrenaline. So he went directly to Wayne Reed or whatever store to cure himself. He bought some liquids trying to take off these things, but the plastic pants, they was attached to his skin. They could not, he could not take it. Yeah. And then he said, for four or five hours, under the influence of so much adrenaline, he didn't know what to do. And he said, I noticed that there is water coming under this plastic thing that is stuck on my skin. And I cannot remove it, but water coming out, like a lot of water, perspiration from the, from the body, all this water is trying to escape. And he said, at one point I realized, wait a minute, I cannot take these plastic off my yeah, skin. I need help. I need help. So after three, four hours self-healing, you know, like because he is that type of person just like me, you know, like if something happened, he will fix it himself. And then he went looking for a hospital. They put him immediately in the emergency room, procedure, operation, blah, blah, blah. One day he stayed asleep. They removed this whole thing. Surgery. Surgically, yeah. They had to cut it out. They had to cut oh, out all Alex. these things. And he said, my thing survived. And he it's said, a, a lot of people was asking me about this. And I start, in his delirium state of mind, he start sending pictures of his dick in the, through social media to his closest friends. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and he tells me, now they know me like the dick guy. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that sends pictures <laughs> of his dick because his dick survived the fire and he say I could not believe that this dick is so uh, you know the, the anatomy of the dick you know what it is it's like a bunch of tubes like miniature tubes right, it's many, very many many it's a very spongy and yeah, so he say they did not remove my dick, but they removed a lot of skin. portion of his skin. And here and here, and he has like a very big beard. And I say, how about the hair? You know, did it take fire? And he say, luckily, it did not cut my beard or his big hair. Yeah. Wow. And that's a, that's a cool story. Quite a story. Why you should always wear Louis Vuitton, a hundred percent cotton, and these are these pants, a hundred percent cotton. Very. Oh, look at this. So basically that's it wear the natural things for example if you go to t-shirtstatement.com we guarantee these are 100% cotton shirts t-shirtstatement.com 100% cotton t-shirts we import them from India we import them from India and sometimes from uh, other countries that have 100% cotton production they are triple wash, quadruple, you know, like 100% cotton. Mm -hmm. Why is that important? Because anything synthetic on your body, well, is not so good for your body. Just don't touch it. Don't touch it. Like a tick. I have a tick in my...
had two ticks in my skin last year. Uh -huh. And one was left for, I just didn't notice it. It dried out completely. It dried out. Yeah, and then I just scratched it off. <laughs> yeah. Did you get the Lyme disease? No. no? Luckily, I didn't. Because you are a lemon, you are not a lime, that's why. <laughs> oh, it's so nice here, so relaxing. I think this spot is better than our spot. For the summertime, we need the shadow. Oh, the summertime. It's gonna be a perfect vlogging. Yes, boss. Hassan, when the mountain doesn't, what was the mountain? The mountain uh, doesn't come to Muhammad. Muhammad, Muhammad must go to the mountain. Okay, so Muhammad is here. And the mountain is here. <laughs> Oh, we should be going now, not soon. You gotta go to do the work. All right, people? And uh, get a composition book to compose your life, you see? Without this book, your life is going in unknown directions. So at least, buy the book, put some directions in your life. It's a good idea, good suggestion. Now, this is the big book, of course, and you should have also the small book. The small book should be always with you, carrying it around. Oh my God, oh my God, my small, no, book. No, my small book is missing. My small book is missing. Oh my God, what happened, what happened? Oh, God. All right, now, I can tell you that in the small book you put important stuff. Like for example, Kem Cho. Kem Cho. Kem Cho, it's how are you in, in Hindu. And the response is, Majama. Majama. It means I'm doing fine, I'm okay. Kem Cho. Majama. Kem Cho. Majama. Majama. Like a pyjama. Like a pyjama. All right, kem cho. Like kem cho is like kimchi. Kimchi. Kimchi, but it's not kimchi. It's no. kem cho. Kem cho in Hindu. Gujarati. It's Gujarati. Gujarati. It's an area in India. You see, you learn these things by the book. All right, kem cho. <laughs> exactly. So all these important things you put in your book, not to forget, you know. Do not use your head as a filing cabinet. Use the book. good ideas I'm not giving you lectures lectures you have to pay me for the lectures yes. pay him for the lectures for the lectures you, you pay me top dollars the dollars that stay on the top of the shelf All right? top dollars it's so nice. there's a school out there in internet if you are curious you will find my school and you will pay the the dues and we'll fix you, we'll fix your messed up situation. Only if you are willing to be fixed, because some people think they... They're 
just fine the way they are? They are fine the way they are, yeah. It's like I tell them, hey, your life looks like a mess, my friend. And, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, all right. <laughs> this type of people, they cannot help. They're the worst enemies of themselves. Say something at the end. Uh, before we finish this thing, uh, time for advertisement. Go to t-shirtstatement.com. See that we have 100,000 different designs and basically like about 12 different colors. 100% cotton shirts. That's it. Go there, check, buy some t-shirts. And famous Yoshik will tell you the final verse of the <laughs> podcast today. People, be happy <laughs> and be kind to each other. It may change the universe. All right.